Hi, it's me again, I'm back. In this video, I am going to give you tips and tricks on how to get lots of diamonds in Royale High so that even you can strike it rich. Okay, so the first method to earn diamonds is by the daily logins. If you don't know what daily logins are, as I've, I've actually mentioned it in my beginner's tutorial video, you, if you want, you can check that out. But to check your daily tasks or daily, daily logins, you are going to click on this sign right here. It's like a scroll with an exclamation mark. Right here, I'll zoom in. So you're going to click on that. And when you click on it, you have some, you will have something called the daily schedule on the left. And th here you have tidy textbooks, dream fountain, student portal login and royal high wheel. And they have also given you a teleport button like go there, teleport so that you have an easier time to teleport. So now I'll, I'll show you how to do this. So let's say you have just joined royal high like after a few days you are going to be coming up in one of these places now what you're going to do is going you're going to go straight ahead you're going to see two places where four lockers are there there are, there are two lockers in one so like there's one here and one here so like 16 lockers and you're going to go ahead and you can either take a left or a right i'll take the left and you're going to go ahead and you're going to click on your locker and you're going to enter the combination of your locker if you don't have it it will ask you to make one so you're going to put in your locker combination minus zero and you're going to press the screen key it will open and you're going to go into locker mini game it opens up tidy textbooks it gives you a description of how to play and there is tap the screen or hit spacebar to start and to know whether your cash out is still available or not it will show you down right here whether the cash out is available it's glowing so let's play so i lost and my final score is 13 and my reward is 26 xp so do note that whatever score you get you're going to get twice as much xp so let's say you score one you're going to get 2 XP so if I put cash out 26 EXP I can now cash out in the next 30 minutes and I have gotten 26 XP so that is one way one way to earn XP which in turn gives you diamonds when you level up next one is the wheel so you're going to click spin on the royal high wheel you're going to click on spin or you can click on the wheel as well and you're going to pick out the price wave 1 or price wave 2 I'll pick out price wave 1 for an example now you have to wait until it gives you an outcome it will eventually stop spinning and gives you a pop up on your screen so here I landed on a sword item and you can see this is the one I was try trying to tell you guys about I old already own the trident item therefore it has it gave me the message that you landed on an item you already own which is the trident they also mentioned that now and here is 300 diamonds instead so now i have gotten 300 more diamonds now for the daily login you're going to click on this right here which i told you guys earlier you're going to click on go there teleport what i basically said that is the login streak will be resetted after certain after 24 hours you don't take it after action if you don't take it within 48 hours actually the streak will reset that's what i wanted to say we are here now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and walk straight you're going to find a big fountain so go ahead here you're going to click on make a wish and this pop-up is going to come you're going to click on make a wish and 
I would recommend that you get a halo chart for this so you have a higher chances of winning halo halos or the current halo which is the flowering 2024 halo I think because the tidal glow one hasn't come out yet I'm going to pick a random one do remember the point that you might lose diamonds so basically I have gotten nothing do remember this is pretty common in Royal High if you like a higher level no it actually does not even depend on your level it's just Royal High okay so the next method is leveling up I know you have heard a lot about this basically so leveling up is basically earning enough experience points or XP to go on to the next level which in reward gives you 300 diamonds and to level up you there are a few ways which you can through which you can level up one is by doing tasks which give you XP such as the tidy textbooks minigame I showed you guys earlier the fountain I showed you guys earlier and by doing quests if you don't know what quests are basically kind of small wish missions which give you XP in return so if, if you want to see what your quests are currently going to you can click on this or go into your diary and you're going to see daily schedule open up you're going to put turn page and you have student planner quests and you have a cer certain quest there are and you have self-care needs these do also in return give you XP so if you guys there are lots of videos on quests but if you guys want I'll create a small shot with, which consists of all the ways you have to do to do the quests and basically let's I will show you guys and I'll show you guys how to do the hunger hygiene and energy part and for the quests I guess you can read the description which are given and you can understand but and I will show you guys what happens and how it looks like when you level up and here is how you're going to see how we level up so here is so my eating I filled my hunger bar so you're going to level up and see you get an explosion of diamonds and you get level up plus 300 diamonds that is a notification you get and we might be leveling up one second because my hygiene bar is also done so let's wait so now that we have showered we are going to be leveling up again see we got 300 more diamonds so basically while eating and showering at the same time we basically earn 600 diamonds and i can probably guarantee you that if all your energy bars or the self needs are at zero you will definitely get at least 600 diamonds after doing that doing all three of them okay now i'm back and we have officially gotten our energy up and you're going not going to level up actually but that is one way that you level up okay so that was another way that you can level up another way you can level up is by doing campus wait i'll show you another way you can level up is by going to royal high one or royal high two they're basically campus one and campus two they do give you XP in very good amounts another way to level up and earn XP basically is to go in Royal Archer it's a shooting mini game it is pretty tough but it's kind of fun and it depends on which server you're in and another way to earn diamonds and XP is Sunset Island but I will display I will show you guys how it works in another in the other part of the video oh and I forgot to mention let me show you another way to level up is by the rainy day classroom and the art class so when you do these classes they in turn give you experience or XP which can 
help you in leveling up both of these are fun ways i will say that class is way less stressful than the rainy day classroom but if you want some competition i would recommend rainy day classroom it's basically musical chairs and that class is basically scribble io or uh, guess the drawing in more simpler terms Okay, so the first small way to earn is by just collecting diamonds that are lying in your way. For example, how I collected these, I just went through the diamonds and I got three diamonds and one diamond. Do remember, this is a point that I normally myself forget that the color of the diamond determines its value. that means if let's say you can see it's a green diamond so you're going to run through it and you get five diamonds that means any green diamond is five look i'll show you guys here another green diamond which means another five the pink ones are one each so that was one pink diamond here is another one i got another one more diamond this i will not say this is the bestest of the best way to level up I mean I will not oh my god I will not say that this is the best way to farm diamonds there are better ways as I am mentioning you guys all the ways in the video but this is definitely a small way which can definitely alter the amount of diamonds you earn and before campus 3 came I would say go to campus 2 and diamond beach but i have gone there recently for a few recording some of my videos and they don't generate as many diamonds as they used to anymore so that's kind of sad but i would say i so i wouldn't recommend those ways now but i would recommend if you want to collect like just collect diamonds I would say go to campus three, and in campus three, I would say go to the castle entrance and the castle heart and the dungeon. Dungeon is the new realm and sells not not sells diamonds. Diamonds spawn there. Diamonds spawn there, so that's also a good place to get diamonds. So we are here at the dungeon. going to walk ahead here you have a diamond in front of us it was a blue diamond so we got 3 normally there are inside well you can see there is a diamond so i'm going to unlock the cell unlocking and we're going to go inside take the diamond and we're locked inside that's the farmer but you can always reset i will say sunset talent is basically a pageant it here it says welcome to the pageant you have to just sign up with your i would like to go by and you put your name you can put any just not inappropriate ones and you're going to i would there are certain ways to win in sunset island if you want me i'll make an updated video because there are quite a few bit of videos out there but if you guys want i will make one and basically you are given a theme and you have to dress up under 10 minutes i joined late so i only have 2 minutes i'll have to see which outfit i have a pro a, a lot of pro but the tip i have is to save specific outfits dress up So this is my outfit. I've actually worn this in a video. I really like this and that's why I still have it saved. And yeah. So the round is going to be starting in less than a minute. You can find seashells in the ground in the sea, I mean. But since campus 3 I don't find much seashell. Now the results are coming up, and there are certain prizes you win. So if you win third place, it does give you an announcement like what place is winning what. So third place wins 400 diamonds and 100 XP. Second place wins 600 diamonds and 200 XP. 
and the first place winner wins 1000 diamonds and 300 xp and if you did not win you get a participation reward which is 200 diamonds and 50 exp so those are the ways you can earn thank you all for watching this video till the very end i hope i answered all of your questions and hope this video helps you guys with diamond farming if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos also i have put the link of my other socials in the description below i will see you guys in my next video bye